Uh, hi, I'm back. This is Uncle Tata with the Green Planet. That's Green Plant It, for those of you in the know. And we're here today with our chickens. Just wanted you to get to see how big they've gotten since last summer. I don't believe we, uh, we've shown you many pictures of the grown chickens. And I wanted you to see that we do have some big dogs that are able to get along with the chickens as well. So I'm going to give them a little bit of scratch here, and we'll see if they come around and uh, answer the call of the trash can lid. When they hear that trash can lid, they're all going to come right on around. And then I'm going to feed them a little feed. Chick, chick, chick! <laughs> All right, we're here at the garden here at Camp Woodmont, and I wanted to show you the garden now because we've done a lot of weeding and it looks really good. What's going to happen later on in the summer is we're, we're going to have trouble keeping up with the weeds, basically, because the sun and the rain and the good weather is going to cause all the weeds to come up. But I wanted you to see these potatoes. These are Irish potatoes, and you can see that we've gotten all the weeds out of this bed, and these potatoes are going to be really nice. There's also a grape arbor right over here. We hope to get some grapes this year. And you can see the main garden area right back here. All right, we're in the main garden now, and I just uh, wanted to show you um, some of the sunflowers that we're growing here. These are going to be really, really pretty. They're going to have very large uh, yellow. Okay, we're in the main garden now, and I just wanted to show you these sunflowers right over here. Um, these are going to be really, really pretty when they finally bloom. They're going to have large uh, flowers that are yellow and orange with sunflowers, sunflower seeds in the middle. And we'll take those seeds and use them as feed for our chickens. So with the sunflowers will actually have a very useful benefit to our chickens. And this is one of our raised beds. We wanted to show you the raised bed and the pea plants that we have here. We've weeded this bed very nicely, and the fact that it's in a raised bed allows us to control the weeds a little bit better and get the soil within the bed in a really good condition. So these are pea plants. They'll be black-eyed peas or cow peas. Okay, we're at another raised bed. These, this bed happens to have onions in it, and I wanted to show you how large these onion plants are getting. Uh, these have been in the ground about 90 days right now and we'll be able to harvest them in the next week or two when we have campers here at camp. The campers will really, really enjoy getting to harvest these onions, but you can see how we've weeded this bed and it, there's virtually no weeds whatsoever. So I'm hoping to get some very large onions out of this bed. Here's another raised bed that has broccoli and cabbage and I wanted you to see how, how beneficial the um, the soil has done and, and caused this broccoli plant to grow really, really nicely. This is another raised bed that has um, lettuce, and we're hoping to get some actual heads of lettuce in this bed. And to my right here, we have some uh, tomatoes that are store-bought. The larger tomatoes are store-bought, and we actually have seven small tomato plants over at the end that were we grew from seed. So we'll actually have some tomatoes later on this summer that we grew from seed that we planted back in late February or early March.